Hi, Ann Cheryl. Well, hi, BJ. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, everybody. Ooh, praise the Lord. Aunt Cheryl, I've been writing in my journal. Me too. Yeah, I have it right there. And I wrote a special verse in there this week. Oh, so, so during your time, you found a verse and yep. you put it in here. I did. Can, can I look? You, yeah, don't you can read look. it. You can read it. Can I read it? Yep. Oh, it's from Colossians 3.15. Yep. And let the peace that comes from Messiah Yeshua rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. You always be thankful. Isn't that awesome? And yeah. you know what? That first part, it said, and let the peace that comes from Messiah Yeshua rule in your hearts. It said, let the peace. Yeah, that would be the shalom. Yeah, shalom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we have to let it rule in our hearts. Yeah. That peace that comes from the Yeshua, we have to let it. Yeah, it's like we have to like choose it and make sure it's in there. Yeah, yeah. I I see that. You know something I see in here. Yeah. Oh, and rule. That means it's in control. Yep. That means it's it it. Peace is controlling you. I mean, what else would we want to control is but peace. Amen. You know, because it says for as members of one body, that's all of us that believe yep. in Yeshua as Messiah. Yep. We are called. That means we are told by God yep. to live in peace. We are to live in shalom with one another and yep. always be thankful. Well, BJ, yep. think about that. Yep. If one of us is grumpy, yep. that's not peace. No, it sure isn't. And, and you know what it's like if you're in a group of people and there's just one person that's angry or grumpy or not peaceful yep. or agitated and they're bitter or unforgiving. Yep. You can't, you can't live in peace. And it's sometimes true. they call themselves believers, and yet they're not letting the peace of Yeshua Messiah well, rule should, in them. We have to choose to not grumble and complain and talk about other people. We, we have to choose yeah. to have the peace in our heart yeah. that Messiah Yeshua gives. We have to choose to, you know, we kind of have to like focus on positive thoughts yeah. about one another. Well, and, and it's like that Bible verse um, back in Joshua. Yeah. When Joshua, you know, was talking, he says, choose you this day whom you will serve. That's right. You know? And it's a choice. We have to choose God yeah. and his word and his peace. But think about that. Yeah. We're talking about rule in our hearts. Yeah. I think of, you know, we have some, you know, governments and things, you know, we have the queens and kings and people under them are under their rule. Right. You know? Right. And it says, choose you this day whom you will serve. And a lot of times in the olden olden days, it's like they were servants of those that were ruling. It's true. So we have to choose to follow Yeshua Messiah. Ooh, well, I choose and Yeshua. Me too. Amen. And, and I choose his peace too, to yeah. dwell in my heart. And we're servants to that. Yeah. We will serve yeah. peace. I want his peace to rule. Mm. Ooh, I want Yeshua to rule and reign in my heart. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, huh. I, I actually, PJ, I just thought of a song. Yeah, which one? It's one that I, I just remembered it. Yeah. And it's it goes like this. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I like that, Ian Cheryl. That's yeah, pretty. That means it's flowing. Woo. It's like, this like a river flowing in my heart. Yeah. yeah. Woo. And then, and I then want that, the, don't you boys and girls? Yeah, me yeah. It, it's like, Amen. And in that song, is, uh, you can do I've Got Joy. Yeah. You know, and it's mm -hmm. just like, but that's a neat song. It just kind of came to yeah, me. Yeah, I like it. We need it to be flowing in us, choosing every day to be in that place. Woo. Praise the Lord. And? Always be thankful. Yes, and this is the month that we are really thinking about being thankful. Yeah. And when we are thankful in all things, we are being 
that peace comes too. We'll have that peace and that joy and happiness will wow. bubble up out of us. Man, this is a powerful month. Ooh, amen. There's power in being thankful and having this that. Is, this is the month to learn how to have an attitude of gratitude. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, and, and let's just do it every day this month. Yeah. Every day. Every Choose day. to be thankful. And all year long, too, not just here at Thanksgiving. Well, I thought if we could really focus this month, yes. they say after 21 days of doing something, it becomes... A thing that you do. Like a habit. Exactly. Yeah. So let's it's let's set into you. And it becomes a part of you that you don't have to think about it so hard. It Amen. just is. I love it. Amen. Ooh, praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord together. Yeah, and let's thank him for something. Think yeah. about it. Yeah, let's think about something to be thankful for. I got it. Yep, me too. Okay, you got something? Okay, got oh, some... they, they're ready. Okay, okay, let's, okay here let's we go. Praise the Lord and thank him and have an attitude of gratitude. Thank you, Lord. One, two, three. Praise the Lord! Woo-wee! Oh, boys and girls, I bless you today. I bless your family and your siblings and everybody you know. I bless them with the peace of God. And choose peace. Let it rule. Woo, let it rule and reign in your heart. And be thankful. Be thankful always. And don't forget your prayer journals. That's right. That's right. God bless you, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Love you.